Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we continued expanding in this area. Uh, we were able to grab a bunch of land there, so that went fairly well. Our primary goal has been to get some prestige so we can get the laws changed. Um, so that we can change succession law. Uh, to hopefully avoid, you know... Gavelkind breaking up our holdings. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that when I declared war on Narva, I believe it was, I was actually breaking a truce, which cost me a ton of prestige. So that's unfortunate. So we're gonna need to find ways of getting more, which, you know, easiest way is with some wars. And there are a couple of guys over here that we can go to war with. Um, to grab some more territory that we actually want that and that and um, then we'll see where things go that's Kabar revolt this guy is Usirid that might be a possibility uh, we'll see Look at the, the Nasrid Empire here. Man, they've grown very, very large and powerful. And they're Mazdaki, which used to be a Zoroastrian heresy. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually pretty well established in here now. So that's interesting. Holy Roman Empire is still kicking around, still looks pretty healthy. France. France owns chunks down here in the Iberian Peninsula. England is a thing. Um, Scotland, Ireland owns a chunk of Scotland. Uh, Scandinavia, a few strong. Uh, kingdoms here but these guys are still tribal so they're most likely on gavelkin which means that when they go through succession they tend to break up and the problem is, is that these two counties are he held by these guys here which will make taking them a little bit difficult oh well uh, we'll go ahead and get started now our wife did die and we were looking to try to see if we could marry another woman That wouldn't cost us a ton of prestige and I actually did find one and I submitted a request for marriage, so That should be happening relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and unpause it All right, so I'll be marrying this person whose stats are not great decent stewardship though but we actually get some prestige out of that. I can imprison my own son. Because he's the leader of a plot. Well, he's probably not really. Kuntalik expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. Yes, I know you want to be on the council. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Maybe, maybe not. All right, well, without wasting too much more time, let's go ahead and see if we can't grab this. It's not going to break up truce. I need to make sure that I check this before I declare any wars. Sometimes I just kind of, you know, just go through and, oh, just declare a war and just don't even look at it, so... Uh, just gotta keep that in mind. All right, let's send that off. You have not even a thousand troops and no prestige because you're just a kid. So I shouldn't really need too much. I mean, Novgorod's army should be more than sufficient. With proper commanders in place, it should be more than sufficient. As long as nobody else hops in. Let me 
Some credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Bear. Saddle my horse. Why is my diviner not... Did we convert somebody? What is my ambition, by the way? Amass wealth? No, that's not gonna happen. Uh, let's switch it to... Change culture, reign for 20 years. Have town children, that's not gonna happen either. Become exalted among men, how about like that? If we get the 4,000 prestige, we'll get another 100. Oh, somebody did jump in. Rulers of the Bulgar Empire become increasingly angered by Hagen, Asade's arbitrary nature. Alright, well. That does it then. Bring in the other armies. My granddaughter, who is 16, wants to marry my grandson. Uh, no? We're not Zoroastrians. Uh, you spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but no avail. Okay, so... Eat a grain, gain stressed. Which we didn't gain anything, so that's good. My daughter was born to my son. See what I can do. They want to join. All right, there we go. There's a proper army. That one we will accept. All right, let's get down here. They're trying to flee. I caught half of you. That wasn't a good idea. Ooh, stack wiped him. Oh, the auto save is taking a long time. Come on, game. There we go. Uh, matrilineally to my son? No. Oh, stack wiped that army too. Oh, they're trying to gather another army. All right, let's salt this thing down. 100%. Force demands. There we are. Send the army home. 2100. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Who? The short duchies. This is part of a completely different duchy. Okay, so. We're gonna wanna hand that out to just somebody. I mean, mm, not necessarily, but I think we will anyway. Uh, let's see if we can search the realm for men this time who are not in prison. It doesn't matter if they're married or not. Who are not rulers. This doesn't matter. 
Um, my religion, my culture, adult, yes, great house, no. Good stewards who do not have any current claims, you'll do. Smolensk. All right, Grant land a title. There we go. And you are probably also next. You have 38 troops to your name. Maybe. Declare war. Holy war. No truce breaking. Send it off. Alright, let's see if this will work again. My wife is pregnant. Okay, wait a minute. No, this isn't the ruler who was castrated. No, 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 no. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. That was the last guy. Okay. Looks like somebody else did join in. And I'm going to crush that army before it can get too much bigger. Yeah. I and those of my vassals are part of your faction, loyal subjects. We're gonna get a bunch of piety from them. That that works, I guess. I just not got this army. All right, we captured a prisoner. Right, engage their primary army. Perfect. And we caught them in battle. So we win. Enforce demands 2447. All right. Expand the unit. Let's see. Noble Customs, I think we'll take that. Uh, cavalry, yes. Construction, yes. Alright, now this is going to go out to somebody new as well. You hold no titles, have no claims. So we're going to give you the new county. Oh, we took the whole duchy. Oh. Hmm. No, I don't want to give you the duchy. I want to give you the county. Actually, is your kingdom's... I'd actually like to incorporate a lot of this on the frontier into the Kingdom of Novgorod. So, what I think we're going to do... Oh, this duchy title is a pain in the butt.
Yep. Um, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna give you. Where's where's the liege? I'm gonna grant you the title of the county. There. Okay. I'm also gonna give them like this stuff over here. And then I'm just gonna hold on to this myself for the time being. How much prestige are we getting a month? 7.39. Right, we had a daughter. How much would it cost to create a duchy? A hundred. Okay, one more month. One more month, we can create the duchy. Then we're gonna have too many held duchies. Maybe. How many actual duchies do I hold? Duchy of Vladimir, right? Duchy of Livonia, which we need to get rid of anyway. And that duchy... Which we're going to be getting rid of as well. Oh, you're raiding? Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. It's a devastated province. You're, you're never going to get anything. Yeah, like 12 ducats. Enjoy your 12 ducats. Alright. Let's create the duchy. That gives me my prestige I need. Duchies. Now this guy is definitely going to want it. Kuma. We'll see about that. Alright. And now... We should be able to change the realm law. Which... The council's not allowed to initiate voting. So we can just change the law. Bam. Just like that. And then... Why can we not change succession? No count or higher tier vassal of this title has a negative opinion of you. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we can do about that. Who are you? Who are you? Too many held duchies. High crown authority. One seat on council. Foreigner. Desires duchy of Alania. Uh, yada yada yada. Okay, so he's a problem. I could give you the duchy. I mean, giving up this county. Um, we can always swing back and try to grab it back at a later time. Maybe even with another ruler. So, not the end of the world if I were to say, grant you land a title, duchy of Alania. Yes. Okay. Chancellor.
You're good for that. And now we can change the law. All right. What do we want to go with? Um, all of our options are open to us. Let's see. Who do we actually want to succeed this? We have our 46-year-old son, who would be a successor under primogenitor. We would have... Our 30-year-old son, who would be a successor under Ultima Genitor. Let me just, let's see. Good Marshal, rest are kind of meh, terrible diplomacy. Good Marshal, rest are kind of meh, terrible diplomacy. So, six to one, half a dozen of the other here. You're one-legged. Erudite. Skilled Fighter. Imperial Bureaucrat. Here to serve for a time within the imperial bureaucracy. They're very proficient in numbers and the art of government. Dutiful cleric. Ambitious, envious. I'm leaning toward Ultima Genitor because it leads to ultimately younger rulers taking over, which means we stay with the same guy for longer. The one danger with that is that we could have a son and as an infant and then die and then take over as an infant. Um, you know what? Let's roll with it. Ultima Genitor. Let's see, the su succession law is the opposite of the formal common primogenitor with Ultima Genitor, the youngest child inherits. So yeah, we're going to go with that. There we are. Our heir is unmarried and has no children and is 30 years old. We need to get him a wife. And our son is unlanded. That is also something we can take care of. What does he need? He needs someone who's good with diplomacy. And who's 17 years old. Chiefess of Moskva. Tangri? Very nice. That looks like a good option. Actually, let me just let me just double check. Cause one of the things we want to check for are genetic traits, like uh genius. Or quick or strong none are available okay so then wait a minute, why is nobody showing up there there we go yes credible reports of recent sighting of the great white bear saddle my horse Getting married, we can collect a royal aid duty. Yes, I want the money. I accept your suggestion to Prince Bars and Chief Tis Essen getting married. Okay. Your rating is irritating me. All right, we're gonna go hunt the great white bear again. Yeah, get out of here. All right, you spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. However, you find that you rather enjoy being out in the wilds. All this daily physical activity, it makes you feel stronger. All right, good. Alright, we have returned to we have returned to court. When the Khan Telek attempted to speak on my behalf, action meeting in Pascal, but only managed to turn his faction further against me. Alright, Raiders have been dealt with. 
Alright, so now we no longer need to worry about things as far as holding on the titles to prevent them being lost during succession. So I can hand all this stuff to Novgorod, because I want them to have it. Grant landed title, Livonia. Send it. Uh, transfer neighboring counts. Uh, transfer under neighbor, do it. Transfer under neighbor, neighbor, do it. There we go. And that should make the ruler of Novgorod like me a ton. Yes. My wife is pregnant. See, there, there's the problem. She's 19, this says she can have kids. Uh-oh. I might have to disable the autosaves because they're starting to take a long time. Alright, court chaplain. Proselytize. We need a court physician, apparently. You'll do. If this kid is a son, it's gonna be a bit um, concerning. It'd be the exact problem I was just talking about. This bit will save my daughter, Princess something. I right, call my court physician. The rumors regarding me and my alleged chastity has grown to ridicule. Something has to be done, and my reputation will suffer. My reputation is a strong man, and Kagan will suffer. Okay. Lose prestige. Declare my love for my wife. I guess we'll do that. Even though I'm seriously considering divorce, divorcing her after this kid is born. The thing is, I have concubines as well. My niece just died. A poor health. Unfortunate. That Kabar revolt is still going on. Alright, we had a daughter. Okay. My court physician, High Chief Ostro, is worried about my newborn daughter. Now, wasn't there a way to, like, say we don't want to have kids? Well, you are Manichean. Okay. Can we attempt to religiously convert you? Engage in religious debate. Imprison her at once. I gain the tyrant trait. I'm going to leave, she states, but I will not presume to discuss Manichean with a Tengri. This will not matter for a debate. Alright. Uh, fine. What plot? In the last few days, my wife has not been able to keep any drink or food down. It seems as she is suffering from food poisoning. Uh, sickness and death await us all. Stop pestering me. Um, a little Mala still appears slightly weaker than the other children her age. I swear she is much more energetic than she was a couple of weeks ago. She might not be out of the woods yet. Okay.
According to Marshall, the peasants are having frequent troubles with highwaymen, so yes, build some um, outposts. And our monthly balance is way down. Can I change the obligation law for tribal? Let's see here. Max levy, vassal tax, vassal tax. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch to this law. They approved it because they didn't have a choice. Hopefully they'll bring in some more money. Should be happy with what I've got. Not everyone is as privileged as I am. I lose the envious trait. I need to worship the ancestors. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're one-eyed and one-handed. Let, let's, let's do it. Worship the ancestors. Um, let's see. Prosperity and growth from my realm. And we're gonna do this. Well, from my realm, now it's time to present your offering. Oh, great forefathers, I willingly offer my flesh and blood. We're going to cut off our leg. Someone said that we get a, a trait. And you lay down on the offering stone, bracing yourself for the ritual. Thankfully, the shaman's knife is sharp, and soon the stone is dark with your blood. Your agonized screams will surely have pleased the ancestor, and all you can do is wait and hope. I don't recognize my friend anymore, but the things we had in common when we first met... Okay, uh, we want to try and stay friends. Now... We are one-legged, one-handed, and one-eyed. Someone's saying I should pick up a, the pirate trait in this situation. Oh, there's the autosave again. That one was actually pretty smooth. Well, we'll see what happens. <sighs> but now that we are severely injured, we very well may die soon. Your incompetent steward has led a group of smugglers in the county of Vladimir. That's irritating. Um... Let's have my steward do something else, then. He is an incompetent steward. Can we put somebody else in charge? Uh, yes, please. Pope crowns emperor, and then, okay, so we have a new emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Alright, now what I need to do is I need to get in here and take this duchy and destroy it. Yes. And then I need to just take somebody who's like garbage, like you. Grant them the land a title. And then... Uh, grant them independence. There we go. Alright, but we are at the end of the episode here. So we finally managed to get the succession law changed, so that's good. We now just have to avoid having any more sons, and we'll be golden. Alright, we'll see how things turn out next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.